Hey guys, this is Kevin Lyons, and today we are going to do something a little different. The other day you saw me draw on my iPad, and I'm going to show you how to do that today, because why not? It's a cool thing to do, and let's run that stinger. Hey guys, I'm Kevin Lyons. I'm CEO and Chief Solutions Officer of Lyons and Solutions. Today, uh, a lot of people are asking about this new thing to where you can take your Apple Pen and your iPad Pro and you can draw on your iPad as an overlay. And we're using an Ecamm Live, but you can also use it in, goodness, I mean, any other you know software out there. I'm going to take you through how I put it together and hopefully this will help you. So first off, let's take a look at our iPad. So let's go all the way out to the beginning. So here's my iPad Pro, and I'm gonna put in the comments below, and if you're watching this on the Ecamm community, I'm gonna put in the link, a link to a PDF file that you're gonna need for this. So I'm using an app called Notability. So we're gonna open up Notability. And if you have Notability, you open it up, and you have this, like, you know, choose your, what type of note that you wanna make. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Import, and then I have saved that PDF file inside my files app. So here we can see Notability green screen. I'm going to select that and I'm going to say create a new note. So here is basically just you're creating a note. And here's the important thing about using that PDF as the background is if you just color a green page, you know, green, like put a square behind it and you start writing on it, when you write on it, it will actually you know, work okay, but then when you try to erase it, that's when you get into trouble. So here we have a green background and I can write on it. I can also take the eraser tool and I can erase it. And it doesn't erase the green background. So here is how the next step works. So we have the background, but we wanna get it full screen as a green screen overlay inside Ecamm Live. So give me just a second and we're gonna go into live demo mode on Ecamm Live. You're gonna see my entire screen. And give me one moment and we're going to live demo mode as everyone says. Okay, so now you're seeing my entire screen on Ecamm Live. And you can see I'm in the scene that has the, the mock-up and you know, here I am, right? So what I'm gonna do is let me go to a new scene. So here I am, I have my camera as a full screen background. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the iPad as a camera overlay and green screen. I'm sorry, in Ecamm. So here I click on camera overlay. Now it brings in my Blackmagic, which is my A10 mini with my Canon EOS R. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna change that camera to my uh, Kevin's iMac or iPad Pro. Now here's an important thing is, when you hook it up, you hook it up with the USB cable directly to your Mac, whatever you're using. If you're Ecamm Live, you're Mac only. Now also you don't see all of the, the iPad because the default is 16.9. If you wanted to do a demo mode, you would go back to a 4.3 screen. And let me uh, just enlarge this a little bit. And you can see here, you can see the entire screen similar to what I had on my iPad demo um, you know, set up there. So next up, let's go back to the scene. We want this to be the entire screen. So first off, we got to format it to 16.9. So here we go, 16.9. And I'm putting it up and I'm covering my entire face with it. So there we go. Next up, simple enough, I'm clicking on green screen. Boom, there were green screen. Now this is important. Default is you do not have transparent picture in picture or PIP set up. So I'm gonna turn on transparent picture in picture. And then here's the way I get the rest of it out of frame. I simply click on zoom and pan. Now it defaulted back. So we're gonna have to play with this a little bit. But as I zoom it, you can see I can get to the point where all of the things, including this down here, I can get off the screen. So now I have the ability of writing on my screen. Now you can see there's some like jaggedness and you know it's not perfectly clear. So you want to play with the colors a little bit. Um, obviously you don't want to use green. You don't want to use anything with a blue hue or, or anything that has those hues that would be chroma keyed out. Um, so I kind of find that you know something like you know this, let me hit the eraser and just kind of get rid of all that. Um, but 
I find something about like this size, you know, X marks the spot. It works good. What's also nice is if you have the Apple Pencil, of course, it's touch sensitive, so you get all of the swirly, swirly stuff. So anyways, that's basically it. And what's also nice is when you draw on this, you can move the page around inside Notability. So I can you know, have some type of illustration here, you know, whatever. I can now move that up using my finger because I have that PDF as a background of all the green screen. So now I can come here. I can also zoom into one and I can, you know, do something like that. Anyways, you kind of get the idea. The whole thing is basically just a page. Now, if you go too far down, you're going to spoil it because you're going to see your title. But that's what's nice about the whole zoom function over here. So let's pop back out of uh, live demo mode. And you can see that this becomes a really effective illustration tool as you're going through you know, your programming. I hope this helps. So again, notability. You just basically use the PDF file, fill it up to the background. And you know what? That's kind of how we do it in the lion's den. And I hope to see you next time. And take care.